So I brought my watering can with me, and no, there's nothing in it because that I, I don't invite that kind of a mess. And the church is well and clean. Now, do you think I need to go out and water the garden today? Probably shouldn't water the garden today anyway. The Lord's, Lord, Lord calls us to have a Sabbath, and we as Christians recognize Sunday, the first day of the week, as our Sabbath. So in honoring that, I don't go out and tend the garden beyond looking at the flowers and celebrating what the Lord has provided. But do you think even tomorrow I need to go out and water the garden? Probably not. Most of my plants, especially the ones in pots, are still swimming a little bit. And the ground is really wet, and I got one of those, those meters that say, you know, whether it's really dry or really... It works most of the time, unless it's been dry for a while. But when we get to a point in the garden, we get to a point with the garden where the, the soil starts to pull away from the sides of the pots, or the, there's a bit of a... The, the ground is hard... Is it a good idea to water the garden, or should you just wait? We have the ability to go out and water our garden and care for it. And there's, was there anything else you should do in a garden besides water the garden? Maybe weed it a bit. Anything else we should do? Fertilize. Fertilize that garden. And I put all kinds of, all the stuff from the kitchen, uh, the, the compost goes underneath the garden at the beginning, but that gets used up after a while. And if you've got uh, a good fertilizer, it can change, it can be a real game changer. I encourage the organic stuff because you got to watch what gets into our, our, our waters and our, our rivers and such because we don't want uh, to, to lose uh, good, good water. And uh, I like to go fishing and you have to have uh, good clean water for fishing. But... There comes a time when you need to, to take things in your hands and, and act on your garden. The Apostle Paul used the idea of watering the garden as a way of showing that we do work ourselves and we do work with God. He said, I went out with some of the other, and he mentions a few of the other uh, uh, disciples at that time. And he says, I, I went out and I visited you and you and you and you and you and you and you. And I planted seeds there, but God did the watering. When I wasn't there, when I wasn't tending to you, God did the watering. And then I've come back to, to tend you again, to talk to you, to encourage you, sort of weed things out. Paul looks at the church a lot like we look at our gardens. It needs to be cared for, and it can't be left dry. It needs to be watered. And we can say, well, God's going to look after it all. But what, what Paul was telling the people at the church is, no, God wants to look after this garden with you, not just for you. God makes us co-workers with him. Through Jesus. Not just to sit back and watch God do it all. But he says, I've got things for you to do. What can you do? That's kind of like water in the garden. What can you do to help the church? What can you do to tell the stories of Jesus? Is, do you know anybody? Does anybody know someone that has never read the Bible? I know some people. Do you know anyone who's never prayed? Do you think you could teach them to pray? Do you know anyone who doesn't know any stories of Jesus? God's going to water the garden to make it survive. But God calls on you to help him do the work. And that's very special. Let us pray. Lord, Thank you for giving us things to do in the life of the church. That we can share in this work and celebrate its success. Lord, you're going to do beautiful and wonderful things that we'll get to admire and celebrate and be in awe of and amazed, especially in our lives. 
we are thankful, oh so thankful, that you say, come and do this with me. Just as Jesus told his disciples to come and follow, you invite us all to come and work in, in, all the, in this church and in, in all the church. That we can celebrate the fruit of that work together. Lord, bless us as we tell the stories of Jesus, as we teach and remind each other to pray, and as together we sing your praise. This in Christ we pray. Amen.